Yo, welcome to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, Brent Bromberg. And in this comic book review video, I'm going to be talking Red Sonia, Empire of the Dam. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it, and we're going to do it right now. And this book is written by Steve Niles with art by Alessandro Amoruso. And this is going to start out with them telling you a little story about this city that is lost. It is the city of the dead because back in time there was a huge battle that was fought there and everybody pretty much died in this battle and everybody's forgotten about the city. It says that a warlock tricked all these people into battling just so that they would all die and their souls will be damned forever. It is said that great riches were gathered by the warlock. So what became of the wealth and the warlock is unknown and that is the legend and now we cut to a tavern where red sonia is sitting there as a bartender walks over to her and hands her a pint of l he says compliments of the gentleman sitting in the corner red sonia holds up the l to the gentleman and then pours it down and then all of a sudden these guards comes busting in the tavern and is telling everybody to leave or else they're gonna get taken. And Red Sonia says, I'll leave when I'm ready. And then one of the guards goes over there and tries to grab Red Sonia and she punches him. She says, I said, I'll leave when I'm ready. And now some of the guards walk over to the guy and they say, get out scum. But him and Red Sonia stand up and they fight and are taking out these guards one by one but there's too many of them and they get shot with some tranquilizers and then they wake up in black warm's prison now as the two wake up from the effects from the tranquilizers that they got red sony is only thinking one thing that she needs to escape and the dude's like you think you can escape from here she's like that's the only way and now the dude tells red sonia that if that he and her can join an alliance and escape together that he will take her to the dead city where there was a warlock that has a ton of riches from all the villages that he captured and she says well what happened to this warlock he says he died off well nobody knows and then she says well we get out of here then we can talk about it more. now as the guards walk up to him and say last meal scum the dude grabs one of the guard's spears and pulls him towards the jail cell where red sonia wraps her arms around the dude's neck between the bars and starts to squeeze and the dude grabs the key and he opens up the jail cell and says do we have a partnership now the dude and Red Sonia go to make their getaway as a bunch of guards comes busting in through the door and she says I would flee if I were you soldiers and as she starts to slice and dice them with her sword she even sticks her sword through one dude's mouth they're like we need to find the horses and they do find the horses as they ride off with a bunch of arrows coming and flying at them as they get away the dude says he's wounded and he falls on the ground and Red Sonia is talking to him and he's dying and he says take the map you go yourself it's like you have a map it's like I drew it and then he gives her the map and it shows Red Sonia riding off on her horse to the dead city to where that warlock is with the riches and that's how this issue number one ends yeah man so what i really dug about this first issue was it got right to the point it was super fast the art was amazing and it absolutely beautiful the dialogue wasn't so much so you can just kind of flip through the storytelling pages and you knew what was going on it was great um the way they draw red sonia in this she's absolutely gorgeous wearing that bikini chain mail man you can see some butt cheeks some cleavage it's way nice and um I really enjoyed it. I mean, the art really blew me away on this. And the writing was like just so crisp and perfect. You didn't have to have a whole ton of dialogue to know what you're getting into. So I highly recommend Red Sonia Empire of the Dam. Issue one's out right now, and issue two is going to come out here in a couple weeks. So you can definitely jump on this one. 
And uh, I'm going to give this one, you know, a, a hard nine out of ten. This this comic was was great, and I cannot wait for uh, issue number two and to finish this story and see where it goes. So, man, if you guys like some comic book reviews, go ahead and hit that sub button right there and hit the like. That'd be so cool. And you guys, you remember, you keep it hardcore. Comics later. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, and in this hardcore comic book review, I am talking Red Sonia, Queen of the Dam, Chapter 2. And this is written by Steve Niles with art by Alessandro Amoruso. And this art is crazy. And this one's going to pick up right where Chapter 1 left off, so let's go. The issue is going to start with us by a fire and the map that she got from the last issue is being dried and this map is human skin because the guy died and he said take my map and so she had to cut the map out of his skin and as she's sitting there waiting for the map to dry she says it's not the clearest map but I think it will do. And we're getting a narration of the Lost Valley where she is heading, where this map is gonna take her to because this land is filled with gems and riches in the soil, but there is a cursed warlock there. And now Red Sonia is hearing some rumbling and then she goes and hides behind a boulder and she sees a big giant dragging a coffin behind him and as she moves so swiftly through the forest where she's at she makes it to the giant and says you need to stop there and the giant's like if you don't move i'll kill you and backhands red sonia and she goes flying like 50 feet and lands up against another boulder and now as she wipes the blood from her chin she says you will die monster and then she dashes towards him slicing and dicing him and then goes whoosh, smash right down and kills this giant and then she goes to the coffin and she smashes it open and she opens it up and there's a woman in there all tied up and as she unties her the woman says oh my god thank god i thought i was gonna get eaten and red sonia says nobody is getting eaten today and now the woman says, how can I ever repay you? And Red Sonia says, well, I am very hungry. Well, you can come back to my cabin and I'll feed you and you can get some rest. And she says, thank you. It has been a long day. And now as they make it to their cabin, Red Sonia looks at her and says, are you a witch? And she says, you can trust me. My name is Luna. And she says, trust is very hard to come by. And Luna says, are you looking for someone to trust? And she says, aren't we all? Now as Red Sonia is eating, Luna is getting curious and says, I'm wondering what brings you to this part of the desert? There is really nothing out here. And then Red Sonia says, I am looking for some place that is not on the map. And now Luna looks at her, oh, you are looking for the Lost Valley. Red Sonia is like, how would you know that? And Luna says, well, your thoughts are conceivably loud. She says, I don't like my thoughts. And they're my thoughts. She says, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you tell me more? And so now Red Sonia, as she eats, she says, I met a warrior who supplied me with the map to the Lost Valley where the world fortunes awaits. And she says, I know the valley, Luna does, but nobody who ever adventures in there has ever returned. It is a cursed land. And Red Sonia says, I've heard that, but I do not fear curses. Well, maybe you should, Luna says. And now Red Sonia says, well, if you are afraid, then maybe I shouldn't invite you with me. And Luna says, I never said I was afraid, though there is much more to fear we should be cautious and then red sonia looks up at her and says well i guess i have a travel companion then now red sonia pulls out the map and they're looking at it and luna says this is human skin 
And she says, yes, the warrior that gave it to me did not survive. And then all of a sudden you hear bangs from the door. And Red Sonia looks at Luna and says, are you expecting company? She says, no, I'm not. And a loud scream comes from the door, says, come out, you witch. And as they walk out there, it's the big giant. And he says, you killed my son. And Luna says, well, he was going to eat me. And besides the way, she actually killed him and points at Red Sonia. And as they begin the fight, he says, you both will die. And he comes chasing after them. But Red Sonia slices off his arm. And then Luna puts some magic spell on him and is holding him. And Red Sonia says, hold him. And as she runs towards his giant and jumps off a boulder with her sword up in the air. And brings it down on him and decapitates this giant monster. Swoosh! And now Red Sonia and Luna both put their hands on each other's shoulder and says, Excellent work, but not bad yourself. In the morning, we will depart for the Lost Valley. Man, that was an awesome chapter too. I love how quick it is and just straight to the point. Great artistry, great drawing, great colors. Everything in it is freaking perfect. This thing is still rocking an 8 out of 10 for me. And I can't wait for chapter 3. So if you guys enjoyed this hardcore comic book review, consider hitting the sub button and hit the like button. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of any Red Sonya books. But I just want to let you guys know one thing. You remember, you keep it hardcore. Comics! Later! Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. And in this comic book review, we are going to be doing Red Sonia Empire of the Damn issue number three. And was this one as good as the first two issues? Or you're going to have to stay tuned and find out. So in the beginning of this issue, Red Sonia and Luna find themselves in a sandstorm as they're searching for the Lost Valley. Up ahead, they see three figures. And as they get closer... They notice it's an old man and a guy and a woman. Red Sonia asks if Luna can do anything since she is a mage. And she says, I have just a trick. And she does some magic trick and a big old dome goes around them. So the sandstorm can't penetrate them. They're telling them that they are too weak and they're hungry and they need food. And Red Sonia doesn't understand. Like, didn't you pack significantly enough for your journey? They said, yes, we did, but we were robbed right before the storm. And Red Sonia says, damn, that's some bad luck. Red Sonia asks, where are you heading? And he says, to my childhood home where I want to die. It is beyond the sea near a valley few have known. And now Luna and Red Sonia look at each other with suspicion in their eyes. She says, well, I carry little food with me, but here is some that you can have. And as they start to eat, she introduces herself as Red Sonia, and this is Luna. What are your names? And the young strapping fellow says his name is Lucas, and this is my sister, Polly. Now Red Sonia, with her arms crossed, says, and you? And the old man says, I am Gamor. And she says, looks like the storm is quieting. And then Luna says, thank God, because I can't hold this much longer. But as she says that, they say, I see something. And they point out in the desert. And it is coming towards us. Luna saying there's too many of them. And as her shield breaks, Red Sonia says, prepare the fight. And all these creatures start to come. And there's a nice action fight scene right here with them just cutting down these creatures but there's too many of them lucas and Polly are now fighting back to back fighting off the creatures but lucas gets taken down but luna saves him with her sorcery but then Polly gets tackled from behind but she's able to flip the creature over her back and then she kills it but at the same time another creature comes from behind and impels her and lucas yells no 
Lucas now is enraged and he cuts the creature in half and he starts smashing it as Red Sonia looks at Lucas as he mourns the death of his sister. He turns around and looks at the old man and says, this is all your fault and starts walking over to him with his sword. But Red Sonia says, killing this old man ain't gonna solve nothing. And she says, we must get going. He says, she needs to be buried. She's like, I don't need no disrespect, but we need to leave this place. They rode for hours until the cruel desert faded away into mountains and forests. Neither Red Sonia or Luna mentioned their quest because they don't know these men and they were not going to risk it. And as Lucas buries Polly on a cliff top, Red Sonia says, we traveled enough through the day and now it is getting dark. We should set up camp here. And they say yes. And now Red Sonia and Lucas are sitting by a campfire. And he says, you haven't told me what your quest is. She says, I am aware of that. He's like, what, you don't trust people? She says, I've learned the hard way to be careful. And as the old man starts to wander off, he says, don't wander off too far. He's like, I just want to see the canyons. And as he walks up behind Luna, she says, I know that you're there. And she turns around and says, can I ask you a question? Why can't I read your thoughts? He says, because I don't want mine to be red. And then he walks up to Luna and pushes her off the cliff and she starts to fall. End of the issue. That was Red Sonia, Empire of the Dam, issue number three. Written by Steve Niles with art by Alessandro Amoruso. And I love how... This book goes by so fast. Big panels, great storytelling through visuals, through the art. And Steve Niles doesn't have to really say that much, but you totally get it. I'm still enjoying the hell out of this series. I'm going to give this one, I didn't kind of like the ending there, but I think our sorcery, our mage, Luna, will be back in issue number four, man. She's got to be able to fly or give herself some protection spell from falling. I don't know. Definitely left me on a cliffhanger. So I'm still going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Still loving it. Still can't wait to see where it's going to go. Man, thank you all for joining me in Haunted Basement Studio. I'm Triple B. And you guys remember one thing. You keep it hardcore. Comics. Laters. <laughs>Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, and in this hardcore comic book review, we are going to be doing Red Sonia, Empire of the Dam, issue number four. And where issue number three left off, we left off with Red Sonia's companion, Luna, getting pushed off a cliff. Now, does she come back in this one? Well, you're going to have to wait to find out. Lucas and Red Sonia are sitting by the fire when she says Luna and the old man need to come back soon because we need to leave. And Lucas says, should I go get them? She says, no, let's give them a moment. When all of a sudden the old man appears from the brush and says, we were attacked. She says, put him over by the fire. She says, where is Luna? And he says, they took her. She says, who took her? And he said, martyrers. And now Lucas looks at him and says, he is lying. And now Red Sonia holds her sword right up to the old man's eye and says, I am only going to ask you one more time. Where is Luna? And he says, they took her, the martyrers. There were six men. And she says, you're trying to tell me that Luna couldn't handle six men? The old man says they came out of nowhere. They surprised us. And Red Sonia says, go ahead and kill him. He says, no, wait. I know the way to the Hidden Valley. There's only one way in. He says, I know the entrance. And she says, what do you mean an entrance? And he says, there's only one way into the Hidden Valley. And I know it. Lucas says he is certainly lying about the attack and his usefulness. And she says, maybe, but I do not want to take that chance. 
even if there is a small part of what he says is true, we are going to need him. And he says, very well, but once we find the valley, then may I kill him? And Red Sonia just smiles. Now as they make their way to the valley, they see movement up the head and it's five figures and they got a prisoner. And they look at the old man and say, is those the people that attacked you? He says, it must be. And as they go attack these five people, they start slicing and dicing them and taking off heads. And as they get to the prisoner, Red Sonia says, Luna, you are free and pulls the cloak over her. But it's a monster. It's not Luna. It's some sort of beast. Red Sonia grabs her sword and takes care of the beast. And she says that we were lied to. We just killed innocent men. And they say, I'm going to kill the old man. Not if I can get there first, she says. And they go to where he's at. But the old man has disappeared. But he's left some tracks. So they follow the tracks down. And it leads to a forest that's kind of out of nowhere. And now they have to leave their horses behind. And they go into the forest on foot. And as they come to a clearing of a nice little lake... You see the old man on the other side and he says, I have been waiting for you. End of issue number three. Man, that was such a fast issue. Very quick, man. I kind of was bummed out that Luna didn't come back in this one. But there is only one more issue left of Empire of the Dam. And I don't know if they're going to take a break or if it's going to be the final story, the final issue. It's going to conclude our story. But, I mean, I kind of don't see how they can just conclude the story so far. I mean, they maybe haven't even gotten to the valley yet. Like, the whole reason why her is trying to get there, you know, she's still trying to, you know, get there. So maybe, you know, we're going to have a conclusion in part five. And then maybe they'll, you know, take a little break. And then it will conclude later on. Or it might be the end of the story. I don't know yet. I did read the plot synopsis of issue number five. And it's kind of saying this is the conclusion of the story. So I'm be super bummed out because I really like the Luna character. If she was only in it for like two issues and then like she gets killed, that would be kind of that would kind of bum me out. I would think that would be kind of lame. But man, we got one more month to wait to see what happens with this story. Steve Niles is still doing a damn good job. Amaruso is doing a great interior art on it. So hell yeah, dude, that was. Red Sonia Empire of the Dam, issue number four. Have you read it? Tell me what you think of the series down below in the comment section. And so Triple B's is out of the Haunted Basement Studio. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you like this channel, go ahead and sub to it and hit that bleeping bell. Triple B's out of the Haunted Basement Studio. And you guys remember one thing you keep it hardcore. Comics. Laters. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, and this is a giveaway video. So all you gotta do is hit hashtag BBB Hardcore Comments in the comment section below to get entered in to win a free 9.8 CGC slab shipped to you free of charge. But in this video, we're doing the conclusion of Red Sonia Empire of the Damn. This is the conclusion. This is the final. Now, with this issue, it's going to make or break this series. So, let's get right into it and see if Red Sonia can find the Lost Valley with all the treasures in it. Now, as Red Sonia and her companion Lucas that she found through her travels to the Lost Valley, they make it through the clearing of the forest to a creek with a waterfall as the old man sits on the other side and says, if you want to find your way to the Lost Valley, it's right through that waterfall. You walk right through it and there it is. And they say, well, you lied to us before. 
He says, well, if I'm lying now, then you can kill me because I have nowhere to go. And as they both step through the waterfall and they see the Lost Valley and the old man was not lying. The valley is absolutely beautiful and now as the old man slowly starts to transform back into a young wizard he says thank you for accompanying me back here and breaking the curse because of your greed now you're gonna die and the whole world is gonna pay and red sonia yells you betrayed us and lucas says i'm gonna kill you and as he goes after the young wizard he says this is for my sister but red sonia yells no and then the wizard with some blue magic shoots it at lucas and rips all of his skin off and now he's just all muscle and bloody and he's laying on the ground and he's in so much pain he's saying please kill me red sonia please kill me and she looks at him and one swift of her sword decapitates him and she looks up at the wizard and says now it's only me and you and he says that's where you are wrong and all of a sudden dead skeletons starts to come up from the ground and now she is surrounded by a bunch of dead skeletons now all the skeletons are holding red sonia and the wizard walks up to her and says don't kill her just yet but you will die but i want to show you what you desired most and he pulls out a box of treasures and he says it's too bad you won't be around to use this and she says well it looks like we have company and all of a sudden luna shows up through a portal and she says it takes more than a fall off of a cliff to kill me and then she blasts him with her red sorcery and the the young sorcerer he turns back into an old man he's like what have you done to me she says i took away your powers and now you're just an old man and she looks at red sonia and says he's all yours and as she slowly walks over to him she says you cannot hide behind the dead forever and then now luna does a spell and it releases all the innocent people spirits that he has captured there and she says i will kill you quickly but the old man grabs the sword and says magic isn't the only thing that i was skilled at and as they begin to fight and now red sonia lures and jumps at the old man with her sword and hits his sword and breaks it in half she is way too powerful for him as he goes flying back and then she goes over to him and says since you betrayed us now you will die for that and she takes her sword and jams it right in his stomach and then pulls it out and then blood goes flowing everywhere as he falls on the ground and he dies red sonia puts her sword back in her sheath and then walks over to luna and is sitting on all the boxes of treasures all the gold all the jewels and Luna looks at Red Sonia and says, I think we're going to need some more horses to haul this stuff out. The end. All right, man, that's the end of Empire of the Dam. Red Sonia with Luna coming back, which absolutely made the series so much better because I thought, you know, they actually just killed her off in one of the issues and she wasn't going to come back. So the positives of this five issue mini series written by Steve Niles is that it's a really fast read. There is this a lot of art that is storytelling art with not a lot of dialogue. Give you just enough dialogue to know what's going on and the pages tells the story, which is absolutely beautiful. The negatives of it is that it was too short and the ending just ended so fast. We spent four issues of them trying to find the Lost Valley. In the fifth issue, they finally find it. There's a battle and then now it's done and over with. I mean, they could have really, um, stretched out the story a little bit longer uh, made it you know let them stay in the valley for a while and more stuff could happen um, that's the only negative about it but I guess it was just a five part limited series and issue number five it was just so fast that was a negative too uh, it just ended like okay we knew where issue four it left off with them being at the waterfall five started they walked through the waterfall they killed the old man he gives them the freaking treasure and the story done and over with nice short and sweet just like that but overall, um, with Luna coming back and she's still alive, and I hope that I can see her again because I fell in love with that character with this little 
you know, pages that she was on, just a little bit of the story that she was in. I absolutely dug it, but I don't think we're gonna have a part two. If we do, I'm gonna be jumping for joy. I'm gonna be definitely, you know, picking that one up. Uh, Steve Niles is a great horror writer, but I just think it was a little bit too short on this series. But do I love it? Yeah, I'm still gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 for sure. Uh, it was definitely readable, definitely purchasable. Trade paperback comes out, I mean, you can pick it up. I feel that like though, if you try to read all five issues at one time, you'll be done in like 20 minutes. That's, that's how fast this book goes. Each issue, it maybe only takes four or five minutes to read, but I loved it, man. It was good. It really got me uh, loving Red Sonia more. So uh, I'm pretty much a beginner on reading uh, Red Sonia books. And this is like actually the first series that I read all the way through and I loved it. So there's a new one that's coming out. I'm going to be picking up that one. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But yeah, that's going to be coming out. We'll be doing reviews on that. Kind of not doing the reviews on the volume seven that they're on right now. I think they're like on issue like 15 or something like that. So that thing's been going on for like a year and a half. So I can't jump back and read all those. But man, this was a pretty amazing story. Dynamite Entertainment Comics has been killing it. And you guys remember to hit in the comments section below the hashtag if you want to be entered in to win that giveaway. 9.8 CGC slab guaranteed ship to you free of charge. All you got to do is put hashtag the channel's name in the comment section below, which is BBB Hardcore Comics. Throw that hashtag in the comment section below and you're entered in the win. I'll be giving this thing out here in October. So thank you all for joining me in Haunted Basement Studio. I was your host, Triple D, and you guys remember one thing. You keep it hardcore. Comics! Later!